Hey, what's up guys? Gainsuke here. Welcome to this video. I am back with the ultimate speed test comparison of custom ROMs where I will be testing the speed of two ROMs side by side and see which one performs better in day-to-day -day usage. You guys were kept asking me in the comments to bring back the series. Here I am, back with this series. Let's do this. In this video, I will be testing the speed of Evolution X 4.1 versus Havoc OS 3.2, the fastest Android 10 custom ROMs, and see which one wins the battle. As usual, I will be using the monster Poco F1 running these two ROMs. Now, before starting this video, if in case you are a new viewer, make sure to subscribe to this channel and consider hitting the bell button to get notified and enjoy the versatile tech videos. Now, let's get into the video. Evolution X 4.1 and Havoc OS 3.2 are currently the most popular Android 10 custom ROMs in terms of speed and stability. These two ROMs bring a stock pixel features to your smartphone. Currently, the developers of these ROMs are working so hard to improve the performance by releasing a consistent update. Also, these ROMs are not having any custom kernels pre-installed or overclock the performance. This is a pure test, meaning it has the stock kernels installed on both of these ROMs that comes when you install the ROM. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about the features of these two ROMs. If in case you want to see more about these two ROMs, I made a separate videos on these ROMs. Go ahead, check the links in the description box down below. Now let's get into the ultimate speed test comparison where I'm going to test the potential strength of these two ROMs which include a boot up test, a network speed test and lastly the app opening test. By the end of this video, you will find of which ROM performs better. That being said, moving on to the first round, boot up test. Now in this test, I will try to reboot the device on both ROMs and see if which one boots up faster on Poco F1. Now, as you can see, Havoc OS boots up faster compared to the Evolution X. It is clearly visible Havoc OS is the real winner of this round when it comes to boot up test. Now, moving on to the another round, a network speed test. Now, most custom ROMs are having a minor network connectivity issues, but thanks to developers of these ROMs, you will not gonna face any issues regarding internet. I personally haven't had any issues so far when it comes to connectivity. Anyway, I have connected to home Wi-Fi, which provides an unlimited 20 megs up and down, and see which ROM wins this round. Again, as you can see, Havoc OS is the winner of this round when it comes to download speed. Havoc OS scored a 17.7 megabits per second. On ladder, Evolution X scored a 14.1 megabits per second. But in terms of upload speeds, both ROMs are very close to each other. But keep in mind, it doesn't mean Evolution X is having a network connectivity issues. It completely depends on the area you live in. Now that being said, I'm moving on to the final round which is going to be a performance round where I will be opening a bunch of applications and games on both these ROMs and find out the real potential strength of these ROMs to see if which one opens the programs given in a matter of time. Now keep in mind that these kind of rounds will have some human errors like 1 second or 2 second gaps so please don't bother about it.
Wow, as you can see, Evolution X has finished this round first in 1 minute 17 seconds and kept all the applications in memory and finished the overall round in 1 minute 31 seconds. On the latter, Havoc OS did finish this round second in 1 minute 18 seconds and completed the round in 1 minute 33 seconds. Now, both ROMs did an awesome job and were close to each other, but according to time, Evolution X is the winner here. Anyway, I'm going to re-perform this round again, but this time I have turned off all the system animations and app transitions. Again, as you can see, Evolution X has finished this round first in 1 minute 11 seconds and kept all of the applications in memory and finished the round first in 1 minute 24 seconds. On the latter, Havoc OS did finish this round second in 1 minute 16 seconds and completed the round in 1 minute 29 seconds. If you notice, Havoc OS is so close to Evolution X in terms of speed. But as usual, according to time, Evolution X is the final winner of this round. I want to say a few things here. While performing this round, I have noticed Havoc OS is having a minor lag when it comes to rendering system animations and app transitions and a little bit of touch input issues on Poco F1. Apart from that, it performed very well. On the other hand, I have noticed Evolution X has performed much better and I haven't faced any lag or stutters. Lastly, I ran a benchmark applications like Geekbench and Tutu, and these are the scores which I got on my device. Overall, I would say Havoc OS and Evolution X are the most powerful Android 10 custom ROMs. Again, if you want to see an in-depth review of these ROMs, check the links in the description box down below. So what do you guys think about his speed test comparison videos? Do you want to see more? If so, comment down below. And if in case you like this video, smash the like button down there. These kind of videos take a lot of time to shoot. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider clicking the bell button to get notified whenever I post a new video. So thanks for watching. This has been KSK Ryle, signing off. Yeah, I can never ever find the right words. And there's no way this is real life. There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right, yeah